Welcome to the message behind Heart Vision, the film I made for you to lighten up your life. life. The film that was created from a piece of music, my dear friend Paul McDonald, whose birthday it is today, 24th of June. And we, we just, he just sat by the keyboard and started to play something and that's how it happened. Now, I want to talk a little bit about, very quickly, about the message behind Heart Vision and why I've sent it out to you today, each and every one of you. Um, not just because it's his birthday today and he's a soulmate and he's, he gave me so much space to breathe and get all my stuff out at the Positivity Center, get all my pain out when I was abandoned and hurt by, by the family and I was on my own and, and gave me that sense of family that I never really felt, that tribe. And that's what he's creating. But Heart Vision is, is, is just got a message. And so very quickly, I want to give you that message. Okay, I want, please watch it. Because the first thing that you see is when you see from the heart and not the body's eyes, everything becomes clear and you're free. So let me explain that. When you see from here and not from here, okay, when you look from here, all you're going to see is a mess in the room. A mess in the world, chaos, whatever, wars, not wars anymore, but chaos everywhere. That's you seeing from here. So switch the news off quickly. When you see from here, you see potential, you see love, you see compassion, you see beyond, you see so much. And then the minute you see that, you don't have to live in fear anymore. And the minute you stop living in false emotions appearing real, that's it you're happy and that's how i feel today i feel happy i feel happy because my work is starting to come to fruition and uh, 50 56 days nearly i've been working non-stop and meeting the right people and bringing on those smiley people so getting back the heart vision it opens all i did is i took a camera and i played that piece of music in the background that piece of music came from a session I did on the bionamic bed. And it was very, very intense. The first part of the session, Paul brought up the wars and the Holocaust and, and, and ancestry inside me, and I was a mess. <laughs> I was a mess. I was crying. I could feel it everywhere around me. I thought I felt like I was being experimented on in Nazi Germany and uh, when he came to put those lights on I have to tell you this because this is behind the message of heart vision when he came to put the lights on and and to he to help me get onto that bed the water bed which I love best thing you can lie on I mean it's so relaxing and warm in the winter as well cool in the summer uh, I felt like he was going to put on a pair of gloves and experiment on me so already I was ready to go back to what needed to come out of me as a Jew to get that part of me out of me. That, that identity of Israel and wars and Jewishness and Holocaust, everything. Anyway, he put on the music and I said, oh my God, that sounds like wars, sirens and noise and bombs. And he kept going with it with the lights. At the end of the session, I got up and I said, that was awful. <laughs> I feel horrible. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like wars and fear and panic. And I told him, I said I was in a concentration camp. I saw the gas chambers. I felt everything. And I said, thank you. Thank you so much because this is exactly what I needed. But you see, because Paul knows what he's doing, he's so inspired. He, he took that and he did play to some more people on Facebook and they felt the same. And then he says, okay, you're going back now <laughs> for part two. So he put me back on the bed again in that state of shock, panic, PTSD. He works differently with everyone. So don't worry. He's not going to put you on there if you're not, if you're not ready for it. I am <laughs> because I'm going to run with you on TV regardless. I'm going to get on with this and be the light when the madness is going on in the world. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, put me back on the bed. I would do this quickly so he helps me. And then 
he put on this incredible, gorgeous music with beautiful lights and all I could see was me flying around all over the place. I was flying around, it, it was like little spaceships and light beams, I was beautiful. And at the end of it, I said, wow, that's it, thank you. I was back in where I needed to be because we'd released the rest. And then he sat by the keyboard and he started just doing this. Something like that. And I started going. And they kept going. He said, oh, he said, I'm recording this. God, I'm so grateful he did. What if he hadn't recorded it? We would have lost it. He recorded it. And then he started to bring him beautiful harmonies and that amazing voice of his and bit by bit it went on and on and on and 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 this man is just so inspired that he didn't even realize that he was singing like a jewish uh chazan in the synagogue like yo 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 he didn't even know he was doing it i see i showed it to him after and then he started doing um, church organs it was like all the religions and then he started to play the accordion it was an accordion sound which is Irish and Russian this was everything that had come up for me in the session all the genetics the ancestry the religions the Irish culture that I was brought in brought up in the Jewish culture the Russian the gypsy him the McDonald the Irish it was it was just stunning the Polish the Russian the Middle East, the Eastern, um, Far East, everything came into that piece of music. So anyway, I gave it to another friend of mine, Mark, and he mixed it a little bit different and he put a lot of reverb. And then one day I was in the allotment. I thought I'll turn on that music and walk around with my camera. I just walked around, let myself take films. And I thought, I'm just going to film everything, everything that's there, bits of woods, bits of floor, and Martin walking, the flowers, the bees, everything. Just get close-ups and away. I just went with my intuition. And the song was playing in the background. I thought, I'm just going to do this. Then I came home and I thought, okay, I, I want to make this into a, something, you know, I really want to see what I've done. So I put it on my Adobe, on my editing suite. I thought, I'm going to slow it down. And I slowed it, really slowed it down in most, in some bits. And then I thought, this is really what Buddha said. And this is what moving on TV is. And this is what the message is to humanity, to each and every one of you now in the awakening. United we stand. All of those leaves, all of that mess, everything is you and me and the whole world and interfaith. United we stand, we're still there. All of that mess. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Went off. All of that mess is still there. All of the mess, our ancestry, our past, our present, everything is still there. And outside of us on the news, what they're showing us, the chaos, the confusion, all the leaves mixed up together, the earth. And then you get that one human walking slowly gently as i say i don't know how i did this i just went with my inspiration with god with love with the light beams you get that one man walking gently slowly through the mess and he's carrying on his work he's putting them in piles he's carrying on with his work he's doing his work he's not buying into the mess he's not buying into it he's not playing with the mean with what's going on out there He's seeing beyond with his heart, doing something that he loves, picking up bits of leaves, streaming or streaming or digging. And then, and then you see every single blade of grass I, I, I focus on, every leaf is different. And Buddha said that. Buddha said every leaf, every blade of grass, when you see from the heart, they are different. If I show you a whole lot of leaves, you're just going to see leaves. But when you delve right into it, 
the way I did, I went right in there and focused. I don't know how I did this. This was inspired to show everyone something. Heart vision. When you see from here, from the angels, you see from here, from love, you go right in there and you see every blade of grass. And then what happens is they all blend. Did you see the way they blend with the colors? All the chakras, all the religions, all the cultures, all our emotions, everything that we are, everything that the world is, the mess, the chaos is blending. And we are becoming one, one tapestry, one beautiful tapestry, one with all of everything blending into one. And after that happens, as that man is still walking gently, he keeps walking gently, going about his life. And it's interesting, that is the Martin, that is his personality. Going about his life, not, le not watching the chaos, not, not collapsing, not buying into it, not showing fear, carrying on regardless, with love for what, gentleness for what he's doing, that little bit of work, that he is so much Buddha, in Buddhism, detached from the mess, carrying on regardless. And then once the blending happens, what happens? You see a piece of glass and this little seed, this tiny little sapling starts to grow. And then it grows into this beautiful flower, this beautiful heart flower. You see a tulip, you see a flower and bit by bit, it expands or it goes back, 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 back. And then you see that tiny flower, which is you, each and every one of you, unique, unique. And then it goes up to the sky and the sky is the limit. And it says again, when you see from the heart and not the eyes, I know this is true because I'm getting all emotional you become free and you can fly up to that sky <laughs> and do what you love be unique be love enjoy today i'm going to put this on now this is the message behind heart vision i try and get it on now if not i'll put it on later i, I really want to go out to the garden and have some fun rooting uprooting but that is the message behind heart vision watch it see yourself in it I want you to see from the heart. Don't just look at a mess of leaves. Don't just look at a mess of anything. Take your attention inside, meditate to that music. And when you listen to the voices, can you hear them blending? Can you hear the unique sounds? Can you hear all everything that is in the film? When you hear from the heart, yeah, there were little bits that we went out to and yeah, there were little bits that I, my voice didn't do exactly what it was meant to do or pause. But it didn't matter. I wouldn't change that for the world. We're not going to go into the studio and do that. I think it would spoil it. It's beautiful the way it is. It's beautiful. And Mark came in and he added that ethereal haunting sound to it that takes you out of life that distance yourself with love detach with love my darlings today be love and if you want any more help to see from here please contact me moving on tv1 at gmail.com do your dream come on moving on tv we'll grow together and that is my message to you i love you bye